There is nothing wrong with being lazy, they say. There is nothing wrong with money, they say. We are can and like and enjoy living in a lazy, deceptive society. Many claim the Bible from cover to cover, but why are we not still here loving each other? Because if we really do love the Bible cover to cover, it would show in our lives when we are happy and when we hate each other. I find myself coming up short so many times because I know I'm not perfect, but I've been forgiven. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets through humans spoke from God's wisdom and skill. You see, when the human spirit came down and still, bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. If only this population would repent from this sinful nation that we are facing, just as Paul wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him great from our Christ, saved him. You see, he writes the same way in all of his letters, speaking to them and them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, so we shudder. Which ignorant and unstable people distort with laughter how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, Humans, for the most part, don't have a clue. They don't want one or need one either. They're happy. They think they have a good bead on things. We are saved by grace through faith plus nothing. Not something be added to be saved. This is the truth enslaved. That if we be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. But many still teach a long list of works that profit you nothing. We are to love the brethren. Consider first John, how much honest to goodness, real selfish, a great love is actually demonstrated in most of these churches that we see today. See the Bible, God's word says that Jesus will soon return and remove his church before he pours out his wrath on this world. But you know, you would never know it by observing most people who believe in God today. Is there anyone in the church looking for the soon return of Jesus for his bride? <laughs> yes, there are many earnestly looking for that day while they serve him on this earth. And but how many? I cannot provide a number to you and would even be hesitant to guess at a percentage. However, I would believe I would be safe in saying that most people who believe in God don't give it much thought. You see, if we really believe the Bible from cover to cover, don't you think most of us would be living much more differently than we would be at this present moment? By the way, I almost can certainly say I am not excluding myself from those soul searching questions, but the Bible tells us how to be saved and how we are kept by the power of God. It tells us how to live a life for Jesus. It tells us about God in an eternal state. The Bible has been 100% accurate on hundreds of prophecies of which some are being fulfilled at this very moment. If you like the video, leave a like. We upload every week, sometimes every day. So if you like this content, subscribe, like, and share. Over 7,000 promises are written within his pages, and God always kept his word. Where are the sleeping churches? Where is the bride? Who should be looking daily for her bridegroom's return? In my opinion, the worst thing that can happen to the church is to live in the un...
repentant society. We, in the United States of America, are cursed with a mad man because of it has made so many of us lazy and pathetic. There is nothing wrong with being lazy, they say. There is nothing wrong with money, they say. We are can and like and enjoy living in a lazy, deceptive society. And we can enjoy money. <laughs> but let us, as people who believe in God, never love either. You see, 1% of life is fine. But have they replaced the time we once spent with God and his word? Our priority should always be on God and his word over any and everything else. And unfortunately, that isn't the case with many folks today. Give me, give me a hundred dollars. Give me five dollars. Come on, five dollars. Pastor, I ain't got no money. I ain't, I ain't no pastor right now. What you in? I'm not even really a pastor. I'm just an elder. You an elder? What yes. elder is? Elder is the same thing as a pastor, but I'm not. I don't mean I don't have a church yet. Oh, so you a el so you finna get a church? Yeah. Well, how you from? What did the wrong boy be doing? You it's that case. It's glitter. Oh, where your you boyfriend see that? at? My boyfriend at the house. I thought I was him. <laughs> really, pastor? He might be on the phone over there. No, my phone dead. You gonna get me get your number? Pastor, I ain't got no number. My phone is out. Their lives broadcasted. The churches throughout this great country of ours, they, they spiritually sick. How many are spiritually dead? How many churches are actually not fed with the bread, actually empathize the Bible and all that they teach and do? Shh. How many are just playing church? A little girl would play with her dolls in her doll. Too many of our churches, the Bible has been replaced, man's traditions, and that social hour. If all true believers really believe the Bible from cover to cover, then why do we sit back and not stand up for the truth? Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to someone. Why do we just relay on a few to carry the load? Why? Have we allowed the filth of our society to worm its way into our homes, our lives, and our churches? Why are we become so comfortable with what which is not of God? Why do we give this credit to what Oprah has to say than Almighty God has to say? How much time do we spend in the Bible and pray? No, true. Believer of God is perfect, mature, but we should always be maturing as his children. We should be growing, but yet there is so much immaturity displayed among his children. If we are growing in the word, there sh will be more criticizing, jealousy, and pride. Sad, but true. Is the fact that gossip is just prevalent in the local churches. It's all over the place, the neighborhood fence. But why is there no knowledge and acceptance of the word of God? The Bible is the holy word of God. Every page from cover to cover, the ignorance of what is between these covers is the major problem with those who are called as children of God. Since it takes a great deal of work to study the Bible, the laziness has encouraged many to take the word of man and form their own opinions. Oh yeah. We know more about sports and celebrities than what is contained in the Bible. Now, why is that? The answer is obvious. 
There is no interest in the Bible by many people who believe in God. We want someone else to feed us this baby food while we pretend we are taking and eating a steak. If we really do believe the Bible from cover to cover, no less, maybe it's time to actually read it and verify what God has to say and what we claim to believe. Every person that is a true person of God, that belongs to God, that walks in God's faith, should be a full-time person in Christ, not a remote or smartphone. You see, the fruit of our lips should be have you heard about God today? The desire of our heart should be to know and follow him above everything else. Until this is the case, I doubt we truly believe the Bible from cover to cover.